let me try and freestyle it. It took like the first time I found out about leak code. Somebody told me, it's like, hey man, all you gotta do is leak code. All you gotta do is be able to solve five leak code problems and you can get a $250,000 job. It's that easy, man. That's all you need. They don't care about what school you went to. They don't care about what jobs you had previously. They don't care nothing about anything, man. They only care that you can solve these problems. So I learned that. Somebody told me this in like 2018. I was like, dang, that's wild. That's super wild. I didn't fully believe it. But then after I learned it, I think I did some research. I discovered Team Blind. It's that forum that you can go on, uh, anonymous forum for like people with big corporate jobs. And I found this forum and I read Blind every single day over the course of a year. I still read Blind every single day, but I used to read Blind every single day back then also. And I just kept reading people saying, just pass my interview offers like 200K, 300K, 400K. And everybody said the same thing, man, it's true. All you gotta do is study algorithms and leak code. And all you got to do is 300 medium problems and you're golden. You're bound to pass one interview. So like that's that's what it took for me to start leak coding. Even though somebody told me I didn't truly believe it until like a year of reading the same things over and over again. And then after a year, I finally did my first leak code problem. And I tried to study. I studied for maybe like three weeks. And then I kind of gave up. I was like, man, this is hard work. I don't know anything. Everything is so overwhelming. And it was difficult for me to keep going on because it just felt like I wasn't making much progress. That was like my struggles initially. And then my second time around, like a few months later, I tried to do leak code again. And this time I went in with a different mindset. I was like, you know what? Um, I'm going to try and like interact online a little bit more and join a community, find some study buddies and people to grind with and like people to train with. And I found this website called binary search and I joined that website. It was like, it's basically leak code multiplayer. There's always someone online doing algorithms and you could see people like create a room with like problems and people like do the problems together. And it felt really good knowing that other people are struggling on the same types of problems as me. And I was able to like study for about two months straight with like this community that I've been a part of. And then <clears throat> eventually I got a job, but funny, like the job I got didn't even require leak code. It was like a front end position. They just asked me to show them some projects and after I got my job, I stopped leak coding. And then at this point, I'm not really too good at leak code. I, I only knew like the basic things. I knew things like um, I couldn't even binary search without getting off by ones. I couldn't do any type of graph problems. I couldn't do any type of DP problems. I didn't know um, like union find didn't even know what it was. I didn't even know how to make an adjacency list for a graph because I couldn't do any graph problems. There was just so much things I was missing. Um, my leak code rating at this time was around 1600 or so. Like I wasn't terrible, but I had a lot of missing knowledge and it would require a lot of studying for me. So after I got that job, right fast for like nine months, the job I got starting to like lay people off and I'm like worried. I'm like, man, I'm probably gonna have to find a real job soon, man. And I'm trying to get like, I'm trying to get paid at this point. I still have a lot of debt to my name and I felt like I needed a big job with big money, like big tech job. So the only way is to go back to the leak code. And this time I was like, you know, why, why can't I show up to a job paying shit money every day? I'll show up on time every single time. I would I would never be like 10 minutes late to a job, 
even from when I was a teenager, man, if I had a job at a Chinese restaurant or something, no way I'm going to show up 10 minutes late and they're only paying me $5 an hour, man. How am I going to show up to a job like that, but I can't show up to my leak code training when I'm supposed to be getting 300K after I learned leak code? I thought about that stuff, man. I thought about like how I'd always be early or on time for meetings with my manager at, at my previous job. It's like every time I had a meeting, I'd show up on time and I'd be ready for the meeting. No way I'm showing up late for that either, man. And I was like, so I just thought, why can't I do that? But I can't show up for my lead code training. And that was like a big mental shift that I had to make to take my training seriously and like put some respect on that training. And also at this time, it's like, I remembered about joining the online community and how that pushed me to, I don't know, be more consistent than I've ever been before. And I had this idea, man, you know, there's probably millions of other people out there who are smarter than me, who can do algorithms better than me. But you know what? There's probably not that many people who have practiced mock interviews as much as I was about to practice. So I decided I'm going to stream it on Twitch. I'm going to use Twitch as a tool for my learning. I'm going to use Twitch to motivate me to, to do things that I wouldn't normally be able to do. And um, so I started off just streaming. Nobody watched my stream for like months. But the whole idea was to, to articulate my thought process as I'm solving these problems. And I just go through every problem or all the problems that I'm doing. I like go through what I'm thinking about, explain it in detail. I will pretend it's, it's like a real interview and I'd talk about everything that's going on in the problem. And that's like, that was my strategy to like break into big tech because I wasn't from any other like reputable tech company. I'm not from a target school. I don't have a GPA or anything like that. So I needed some other signal to get hired and it's leak code, you know? So that was my strategy and it worked out for me because man, I felt so motivated to show up to my stream every day because I felt people were, I told people I was gonna do it and I just didn't want to like go against my word, you know, so that really helps me. And then eventually there was a little community got, that got built and there was other people that showed up every day to the streams and that was like exciting. It made it fun. And, <clears throat> and like people from Twitch, like taught me things, so many things about algorithms. I don't think I'd be where I'm at today if I didn't start streaming, but I thought, you know, I'm going to train like how I'd play for real. I'd, I'd train like how it is really like in the interview. And, you know, like some people might train leak code and they don't ever practice talking out their thoughts. But I wanted to do that more than any other candidate in the interview pipeline. So at least I'll have like a slight advantage. If I can't beat them in algorithms, I'll at least beat them in like articulating my thoughts. And that's what drove me to be consistent at Leak Code. Twitch was a big part of it. I think I went like 150 days straight every single day doing Leak Code, doing algorithms, training, speaking my thought process, interacting with chat. And then I had one interview and I passed it. And that's it. That's my story. Cut. <laughs>